Good morning, walk with the duck, friends and family. Thanks for tuning in this morning. We're so excited to see you and have you here with us. Um, it's a really big honor today for me to share and introduce uh, Gina Simmering and Dr. Nelson Trujillo from Boulder Community Health. They've been a part of the Walk of the Dock family for three years. They celebrate a big anniversary this year. Um, we're very honored to have them here with us. Um, and they're gonna talk to us today about ways to stay healthy. Um, and I just wanna encourage you to, to pay close attention to what they're sharing today. And um, of course, afterwards, go for a walk and move and um, anything that gets your heart rate up, we would love for you to do that and share it with us. Um, but one special thing I wanna encourage you to do today is take his advice to heart about um, giving hugs. And if you're not with anyone um, who you can hug, be it a family member or somebody in your household, hug yourself. Um, we tried it today. We tried it this week. Uh, my girls and I did and it really is very powerful. We all need that human touch right now. So thanks for joining us and um, we're going to travel now all the way to Boulder, Colorado for this week's virtual series. Thanks everybody. Hi everyone. I'm Gina Simmering, registered nurse and Walk with the Dog program coordinator at Boulder Community Health. But before we get started, we got to make sure we're socially distanced so we have our Boulder Community Health special measuring tape. So here we go. Six feet? Six feet. All right, excellent. Okay, I'm here today with Dr. Nelson Trujillo, our dedicated Walk with the Doc leader and cardiologist with the biggest heart. Um, we thought that this would be a great time to host a virtual Walk with the Doc um, as a way to stay connected with all of you. We miss you. Uh, we're thinking about you, and we can't wait till we can gather again in the future. So, in order to bring a little bit of sunshine to your screens, um, we thought that uh, Dr. Trujillo could share some tips on how to safely stay active and how you can do your part to stay healthy during this unpredictable time. Dr. T? Thanks so much, for guys. It's so awesome to be with you guys, even though it's virtual. So before we get started, as always, we've got a couple of housekeeping things we gotta take care of. First of all, we gotta send out a big virtual thank you to all of our first responders because you know we're all doing our part by being um, physically and socially isolated and doing all those right things, but those guys are out there on the front lines. And so we wanna send them a big virtual thank you. So that's thank the you. first thing that's so important. And then the second big thing before we get started is for us to all to take a big breath. Let's take a second big breath all together now. The first thing I can say is that we are all scared. Um, these are incredibly scary times. And so one more time, a third big breath just to calm ourselves down just a little bit. So all together. The next big thing we got to do before we get started because I miss you guys so much is I want you all to take your left hand and squeeze it around your right shoulder and your right hand around your left shoulder and we need a big hug, a big virtual squeeze because at times like this um, I just miss our big Walk with the Doc family and I miss those hugs and uh, it's important for us to realize that we're not alone and we're all together in this and we'll get through it all together and later in the summer when we're all together looking back, um, we'll appreciate how close we became during this time. So Gina asked me to sort of put together a little chat as we think about how to stay healthy um, during this time. We've done two things already, which are incredibly important. And actually the most important, the first is to breathe. Um, taking time to breathe and realizing that for the here and now, we are here, we've got food on the table, and Boulder Community Health has really uh, uh, done an incredible job at preparing for whatever comes. And so we're really in the healthiest community, uh, in the healthiest situation that we can be during these challenging times. So maybe one more time, our fourth big breath. It's gonna be okay. Know that you're not alone and reach out. So uh, in today's world, one of the great things is we're just a phone call or a text away. It's important to reach out to friends, to family, um, and just to touch base. A third thing is that, and I know for this for myself, you know, at times like this, when I'm scared, one of the things I really want to do is eat. And I'll tell you, boy, my childhood 
uh, addictions are just coming. I mean, I can't go into the grocery store and not think about Doritos or Sara Lee pound cake. And so one of the things that I think it's really important is as we think about food is that um, while it's important to nourish our bodies, it's to be careful because at times like this, we can definitely start to use food to help manage that scary feeling. And so having a good diet, lots of fruits and vegetables, um, really being uh, careful about what we're putting in our bodies will keep us healthy during these incredibly stressful times. Another important part is moving. And so movement is incredibly important. And as all of you know, I'm not a big fan of exercise. I love recess. And so now that we're at home, recess is something that's completely accessible to all of us. And so what does that look like? So I was just having a conversation a little bit ago with one of my favorite people who's 72. And she was telling me that she, when she was young, used to hula hoop. And so this is a great time for her to get her hula hoop out and for 20 minutes a day, crank up the tunes and to start to spin that body. So that's a great example of recess. Um, if it means turning on the television and uh, dancing, that's awesome. So we need to move about 20 minutes a day to keep going. Boulder Parks, who is one of our partners, are so awesome. You can see we're outside today, our appropriate distancing. Um, just getting out for a walk for 20 minutes in nature would be awesome. Even with our social distancing rules, you can get outside and take a little bit of a walk. The air will do you incredible good, as will that movement. These are really, really important things. Another thing that I think is incredibly important, especially um, in this current time, is we got to turn off some of the noise. So I don't know about you guys, but um, uh, the telephone and our social media and the news, CNN, you know, it doesn't change much over the course of a day. And so I've started getting up in the morning and for about 10 minutes, I take a look at the Washington Post, New York Times, Wall Street Journal. I might turn on CNN for a few minutes to get an update on what's going on. And then I turn that stuff off. And I don't look again until the end of the day. Um, if you remember back in the old days, you know, we got news between 5 and 5.30 with Walter Cronkite. And so, and that was, it worked okay. And so I would remind you that we could get by without this constant news feed of what's happening with this virus and what's, what's happening in our community. It's a great time to read a book crazy idea I know um, but if you you know there's that book stack that you had by your bedside for a long time good time to pick one of those up um, and let your mind come down a little bit we will come through this all together um, we're in a we're in a great community our walk with the doc community is awesome um, there's lots of love out there um, and we'll get through this together so we'll look forward to seeing you again soon um, Gene and I are going to go out for a walk here with our special distancing uh, to enjoy the beautiful day. I hope you guys get out there too and uh, we'll see you guys real soon. Any thoughts, Gina? I do. I have a couple things to add. Oh, how are you always. doing, by the way? <laughs> I'm doing good. So I'd like to echo uh, a couple of the elements of staying well that Dr. Trujillo had mentioned. Um, and that's the turning off the noise, the news. Um, at the beginning of all of this, I was watching the news all day long and hooked to my phone and I already have trouble sleeping, so that just compounded it. So limiting um, to morning and early evening has really helped me get better sleep. And um, a couple tips on exercising safely. Um, if you can get out early in the morning when the crowds are less likely to be around, even though they shouldn't be, um, that's a, a, a good way to get in some, some healthy air without the fear of being running into other people. Um, and if you do have a buddy that you meet, I have a running buddy that I meet, you know, make sure you are staying like six feet apart. And I also wanted to add that um, we are so excited to see you in the future. There will be the future and we will get back together. Uh, my email address will be at the end of this video um, for those of you that have questions about the Walk with the Doc program or if you just want to say hello. It might take me a little bit to get back to you, but I will get back in touch and um, know that we're thinking about you. So you ready to get some steps? Let's go! Okay. Woohoo! Six feet. Six feet, all right. <laughs> You're too fast. <laughs> <laughs>